You've kind of been termed as the uh, a short track bullring expert. What is it about this place that you uh, you feel your success comes from? I just feel you have to be aggressive here. You know, it's uh, it's not really. I was known more on my short track days as the guy that was a pushover, but for some reason here, I just uh, I got a good knack for it. And you know, when you have to be aggressive late in a race, which is typically every Thompson race. Uh, you know, we've been able to hold our own with guys for the most part, and you know, it's just uh, we've got good race cars too. So that you know, that's always the biggest part. You know, we struggled last week at Stafford because the car wasn't good. So it just shows how even our competition is and how good all our drivers are. The aggression level is something that Doug spoke about at the end of the night. How aggressive was the closing lap of this race compared to other Thompson races? I didn't see anything different. I mean, we we kind of got to the lead. We weren't up front too many restarts. By the time I got to the lead, the last two restarts, you know, I just tried to get a good launch and. Uh, the first time Doug was even with us down into one for the most part, and I tried squeezing him, you know, and he's trying to run me up and doing, we're each doing what we got to do to win the race. And, uh, yeah, I kind of thought he would be able to put a slide job on me like he did Ron, but uh, I was able to come out front, and then the last restart, I was able to get a good launch and beat him to turn one. So, uh, I mean, it's just, it's a product of Thompson. I mean, I, I hate to say that's how we got a race, but, you know, it, it's, like I said, with everybody being so even and so close speed-wise, it, it makes it hard to, to put a move on a guy. If you get a run, you gotta you gotta put that slide job on him. Uh, it kind of it's like a dirt track, but you know, it's not the way we want to race. But you know, we're kind of boxed into that. Having the uh, possibility out there now of sweeping all three events at Thompson has that kind of gone through your head? And what are your thoughts on that? Uh, that would be pretty cool. I mean, we want to win everywhere, but uh, we've got a you know a good knack for this place. I think half of my wins now are here, so. Um, that would be cool to come back in October uh, with a shot to maybe win a championship and do it with a win. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that all plays out over the next month and a half, two months. And uh, if, if it takes a win to, to win the title, that's what we'll do. But uh, we'll see how that comes at the end of the year. You still get the Friday at Stafford. You, know, you, you just wanted to get through Stafford and get to Thompson. Now that you've got Thompson at one, you're heading to another track that's really good for you. So what are your thoughts on heading there next week? You know, it's, it's what we got to do. The two is such a strong team, and they're so consistent every week. They, they could have won a bunch of races. They have they only got the one so far, but uh, we got to keep the pressure on them. And you know, if, if winning's how we got to do it, you know, that's what we got to do. But uh, um, I'm excited to go to Bristol. You know, uh, history our, our, as a team, we've run really good there. A lot of speed. Um, kind of things have taken wins from us, or you know, whatnot. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting there. Uh, and then, you know, from there we got that a little bit of a break, and then that, that last stretch before the uh, the end of the year. So it's running out quick. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try our best to make a make a fight at it. Dead heat for the championship right now. Three wins, and you're also leading the championship in the Armagnac coming into the season. Did you think you'd be at this point come August? Well, I mean, on paper, yeah. You, you know, you got two good teams. Uh, you know that the the other deal. You know, they were very experienced, and uh, you know. I knew the team would be up to speed. I just knew how to learn the tracks. But over here, we made a lot of changes. We made new motors, new chassis, new crew chief. So to, to on paper, look at it and say, yeah, we got a, t a team that can do this and win the championship. But uh, to come out and actually do it, and you know, through I don't even know how many races we run, but to have three wins uh, in one season, that's it's unbelievable. And to do it the way we did tonight, we, we struggled a little bit in the beginning. We pitted early, got back to a reasonable position, pitted. Guys had a you know a solid pit stop, made some adjustments on the pit stop, and. Uh, we were running competitive times, and then that, that wreck with the, the lead, the, the, I don't know, I guess that was Barrett and uh, Leah, that, you know, we were faster, if not just as quick as the leader at that point. I just needed to get caught back up, and uh, the restarts fell our way at the end. Um, you know, we did what you had to do to, you know, get, get position on people, and, you know, we came out on top, so.